$36,000 missing somewhere here on the ranch. What's going on adventurers? So today we're doing something a little bit different and I don't know what the hells we're gonna get into. I do. Hi guys, come here. Look, I got food. I got food. I got food, don't blame me. Come here, come here cuteness. Come here. You're so cute. Yeah, I'll just give you a little bit on the ground. You're adorable. Hi. I prefer that. Yeah. I mean, that's what they're used to, I guess, is foraging. Are you foraging for animal crackers? <laughs> no, they have those in the woods. <laughs> Probably their new favorite treat, huh? Oh, they love it. You are so cute. So how big do these guys get? That's a good question. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're gonna find out, right? <laughs> now this little girl here, she's pretty aggressive. Okay. She'll run at you and she'll try and fake like she's gonna come at you and then she'll pull back. This little one here? The one right in the back. Wow. The brown one. Is that true? That one's biting. And they're all brothers and sisters. Wow. Huh. I've heard that there are a lot of wild pigs around, but I've oh, never seen them. One. Like this is the first, this is exciting. This is the first time I've ever seen a Floridian wild pig. Yeah, me too. So there's seven babies total. I've caught all seven mm. once, but as I transferred them over here from the trap to the pen, I lost four the first time. <laughs> wow. I caught the four again two nights ago. And as I transferred the first of the four back over here, lost the first one for the second time. You gotta and be so, fast, huh? <laughs> so got the other three in here. So the six babies uh, are in here. Number seven is out there. I was hoping to catch number seven again last night for the third time, but unfortunately didn't get number seven. So I wonder if they can smell their siblings though, and if maybe they'll oh, sure. be attracted to I'm come sure. here. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, maybe it'll just show up. Pigs are so, so smart. Uh, you train them just like a dog, potty train them, do tricks. The really? Whole deal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All it takes is food. We're domesticating them. The three are pretty domesticated as it is, mm -hmm. but the way you do it is just with food. The other three, we're gonna have to get them, the three brothers and sisters are gonna have to train them. Mm -hmm. But uh, what will happen is we'll let them out during the day and then they'll come back to the pig pen at night. So awesome. Beauty and Beast are running out here somewhere right now. And they're full grown? Yeah. Well, she's we she's a pot belly them. and he's a he's a wild wild pig, but um, I think they're about as big as they're gonna get. Oh okay. They smell you see George has a dog biscuit. Oh so look at that. They smell so these are the three that we caught first and I said oh these were pretty they'll, much domesticated. They'll eat from your hand. They'll eat from <laughs> Oh, you like that. Oh my goodness, yeah. look at that. Picky, 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 picky. Beauty and Beast. I already called. They got oh, they came to Piggy Piggy. The <laughs> look at that. Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Baby. It worked. Are you going to... Oh, who's eating? That's Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Piggy, it. Piggy, Piggy. Oh, maybe they're sharing. Mm. Piggy, Piggy. Wow. Oh, okay. This is the... Oh. Oh. Okay. Let them figure it out. <laughs> he says, share? I'll take it off the ground, but I'm not, I don't trust you. No, they don't share. They mm -hmm. fight no. for food. This isn't food. This is a camera. This isn't food. They fight for food. He's cute. There you go. Now they're gonna be a little skittish at first, but once they start eating. Aww. And now they'll get used to it. So now you just, they'll get, they'll be all right. And this is how you start domesticating them. Huh. It's just with food. Have you done that before with wild pigs? No, nope, this is my first time. Wow, not bad. <laughs> I got two hands now. All it took That's was food. That's awesome. My knees right in the body. I always think of pigs like messy, but these guys are not. No, they say that they're actually very clean animals. These three stick together. They sure do. Buddy, buddy. Yeah, they're quickish. How do you not spend like every minute out here with these guys? Trust me, they're a huge distraction. <laughs> every half hour I'm like, Carl, gotta see the animals and then I'll come out and give them treats. What's up? Hey, I love that view. I love the snout view. Yeah. This is snout a vision. The wet, the wet snout. Snout a vision. <laughs> 
You guys really are talkers. You're very friendly. I love that. You're super friendly and very curious. Look at the little duckies all curled up together, keeping warm. Aren't they cute, guys? There's some little chickies over here. So adorable. What's up, guys? What are you guys doing? We might get a couple branches. Ah, oh, a little close. <laughs> no worries. Jurassic Park after. Right? <laughs> exactly. I feel like we're on safari. <laughs> Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I think they were probably mudding in there. Oh yeah, I see a little yeah. hole there. A little path, they were probably mudding in there. There's water. It's not? No. You guys seen any gators back here? Not yet. Ah. We want to branch. Really? So there's 70 acres, and right in the middle of the 70 acres is this power line. <laughs> Back. And the back is by far the best part. This is so cool. Were these calves already here? No. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. Well, we've cut some trails in, but some, like nice. this here was here. Yeah. Nothing to do with it. So Otter Creek runs straight through our property. And Oh, there's a nice pond. That's actually the creek. Really? So the creek runs all the way through our property. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. So it's named Otter Creek. Apparently there's otters. <laughs> we have to find an otter. Go out there with a kayak and a Subway sandwich and they will come. <laughs> right up in your boat. Have you had that happen? Yeah, we're on the uh, Wicked Lacoochee one oh, time. Wow. And I guess people have been doing that. Oh, yeah, they came right up. I'm like, oh my god, look at them. <laughs> Last time it was raccoons. Yeah, they have some raccoons. We saw like, what, four or five yeah. of them? Yeah. It's crazy. They come right down. You know, get a little bumpy. Yeah, this thing tears it up. Wow. These things are pretty awesome. These things are pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Toad Wild Ride hasn't got anything on Jeremy. <laughs> nice hair, hair, hair. Wow, look at the cypress knees. like copper Cypress knees over here. That's cool. All along here. That's so awesome. One of the, we found the largest cypress tree here on the property. That we know of. That we, have, we know we of. barely touched any of our property. We've only scratched the surface. It's hollow and it's right back Whoa. there. It's the coolest thing in the world. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, cypress trees are really cool. You can actually get inside of it. It's huge. Wow. It's massive. And the best awesome. part, it's ours. It's on yeah. our property. That's we so cool. You guys probably have so much stuff here that you haven't even seen we yet. We don't even know. Not at all. We have no, no I clue. can't even imagine. So this, your property keeps going that way. Yes, yeah, like keeps going maybe back. One oh, our property. wow. So this is the creek where we find the lost, dinosaur yeah. bones, the mammoth okay. teeth, mastodon, uh, tapir. Ooh. You can see the whole bottom right here. So we took a scoop right in there, just to kind of get a little test. Did you find anything in there? A bunch of roots. Oh, those are great. A bunch, <laughs> a bunch of roots. Those are those um, damselflies. Oh, okay. They're coming, they're around here. Right, they're the creek, the the creek comes all the way over into here. Oh, okay. And then our property line Mandering. is the fence right there. Oh, that's your line. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is awesome. This would be the, this is the south property line over here. It smells so good out here. You need a, um, I farted. Or do you smell diesel? I farted. <laughs> <laughs> 
smell of diesel. <laughs> it's me. But yeah, the creek. So the creek, all the way from where we were, where that first where you're like, hey, there's a pond. It yeah. goes all the way through the back of the property and it comes That's all the way nice. over to here. Wow. So that whole entire nice. creek, you can scuba, you can snorkel, whatever, what? for dinosaur bones. Yeah. How deep does it get? Oh, you put your face mask on. Nothing to four feet. Yeah. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but ever since we moved to Florida, I've been getting eaten alive by these bugs no and mosquitoes out here. Yep. And it's dusk at dusk. And you nothing, stand. I can't find anything that works. Yeah. I started taking vitamin B12. So we're gonna see. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. You gotta know this, okay? If you're gonna go on an adventure here with What the Hales at the property, we bought 70 acres in Otter Creek. This property was formerly owned by a um, elderly lady. Mm -hmm. And the husband, an elderly lady, actually signed a contract with the cell tower company. The thing is now, huge. It's huge. This is no small tower. This is one of the biggest towers. Now, if you know anything about cell tower company leases and contracts, cell tower company leasing contracts are millions, multi-million dollar leases. So right now you're all thinking, well, Jeremy, is that on your property? And the answer is, the answer yes. Is yes. <laughs> yes, it's absolutely on the property. So you're thinking, well, are you making millions off of it? Unfortunately, the answer is no. no. And this is why the most devastating thing, the cell tower company went to the little old lady, she needed money, and they said, instead of doing a monthly lease with you, we'll just, we'll give you a hundred thousand dollars and Whoa. we'll put you in a 50 year lease. And she said, yes, she took a lump sum of $100,000. Mm -hmm. She then passed away. Her children only found four thousand of the one hundred thousand dollars there are ninety six thousand dollars missing somewhere here on the ranch what the hails <laughs> <laughs> wow so was her mattress still here when you moved in her bedroom was her there dresser was, there was. There was a dresser in the bedroom, which we checked every single drawer underneath, all all in the guts, and we found one letter. We found a letter we from her daughter. Yes. Uh, the mattress frame, the metal frame, was here. The mattress wasn't here. But here's the thing: I got to show you something else, and then you'll understand. I don't think it was in the mattress. I have to show you something. Okay. Okay. You know. All right. Let's go to another location. I got to show you this. Okay. You'll understand. Oh, no okay. mattress with the money. Back to the gator. Do the gator. Oh, Lisa oh. is so excited. She got out of the gator for this one. We're gonna find out. What Look at her. She's she's, she's just like losing. Like a, she's losing the walking stick. I like it. the mysteries. Throw the walking stick down. Just do it. You know what? Bam. <laughs> she doesn't need a walking stick. <laughs> Oh, she's running. She's running. She is running. I think she's feeling pretty good today. <laughs> I don't need no snake and walk. <laughs> it's now a snake stick. Just in case. Do you know where the money's hidden? Do you know? Can you tell us? Lead us, lead us to it. <laughs> I bet they know where it they is. They do know. I'm trying to tell you. All right, so where are we now, Jeremy? We're actually behind the house and in the house, there's a whole canning room. What we do know is she absolutely loved jarring and canning. And we have searched the innards of the house. Now, there was one thing we found in the house. I'm gonna show you that afterwards. And we've been searching for the lost $96,000 and we've made videos on that. We've yet to find anything. But one of the things we did find, look at this. There are okra. Jar there's jars everywhere on the property. What? All Wait. back here. Green beans. Lisa's Green favorite. Beans. You want to eat one? Why would they be out here? I'll pay you. I'll pay you fifty bucks so to eat it. If no. you look all around, yeah. all around, there's beans. there's canning jars. You're right. Why the hell would this stuff all be back here? So one of the things we do know, she got brain cancer. She had dementia. We also know, and a lot of our fans have kind of guided us in this, that back in the old days, what used to happen is the old timers used to actually hide their money because they didn't trust banks in jars. And so they've mm. told us, and we have yet to do it, they've told us, Jeremy, you absolutely, George, you absolutely have to go metal detecting because somewhere on that property, there's gonna be jars of money. And guess what? 
We found one so far. Did you really? Let's go see it. See this jar right here? You see what's in there? We found this. Actually, you know Robbie and Z Dog would get swamped, right? Right. Z Dog and Robbie came out to help us search. Z Dog found he this. Found it. Did he? So here, here, come, come here, come here. Well, so <laughs> you see this? It was even marked a zero or a three, or we think it was like E O or something. Z Dog found this up in the attic. So there's a ton of foreign coin in here. Wow. Now, the Chuck E. Cheese coins, we found those in another place in the house, but I threw those in later. But look at all this foreign stuff in here. So that's what we found so far, which leads us to believe that our fans are probably right. The money is probably hidden somewhere. And they keep asking us, where did she love to be? And we know this from the kids that sold us the property. There's a pond up there. They loved the pond. Mr. Clark dug the pond and then they would go swim in. They stocked it with bass. They loved the chickens. That's the original chicken coop where our chickens and ducks are. They mm. loved the pigs. Mr. Clark was catching wild pigs and domesticating them just like we are. So those are the three areas that if I were to metal detect, if you were to metal detect, we have a metal detector. We just don't know any, we have no clue how to use, to it. use it. <laughs> we don't know how to use it. One so, of our subscribers sent it to yeah, us as a gift. A fan sent it to us. We travel with it everywhere, but we have We've yet to use it. We've never yet used it. I think we know how to put it together, but um, that's, this is what we found so far. We found money in a jar, which leads us to believe there's probably more money in a jar somewhere here on the property. And the only way to find it is metal detect. And because you got to get that mm -hmm. metal and jar. And pick up on that lid. Wow, this is going to be so much fun. Our fans have also speculated, was there was there a special tree? Was there, they said the old timers always used to put it somewhere that was special to them. That tree right out there that you parked next to, there used to be a tire swing there. We cut the tire swing down because it was, it was bad, bad, bad shape. That's the only special tree that we can identify because there was a tire swing on it. Nothing else stood out as a special tree and none of the kids have said anything either. But we know the pond, we know the chicken coop, we know the pig pen, we know there was a tire swing there. We haven't done any metal detecting yet. I wonder if there was a, like a special place that she would sit like around here, like, you know, I don't know, like around close to the house. I mean, it sounds like she wasn't. There's a special place where I sit now. It's just I'm definitely the screened in forest. Is that the bench out there or was that not there? That's we, put that. we put oh, that we put up. That. There. We found that in a storage unit and oh, we'll okay. show you that later. So maybe on. they had like. Okay. We, we, we go to the beach, we get shells, and all of our shells go under the tree Aww. there, and we found oh, cool. the bench That's in a, a storage idea. unit. We've even had another YouTube channel, Adventures with the Hudsons. They donated their shells that they've collected Aww. as well and added it to That's the tree. That's nice. Leanne has, actually there's been quite a few fans that have been shipping <laughs> shells to us for our shelling tree. No yeah. kidding. So yeah, so that's our shelling tree now. That's pretty much, that's, there's $96,000 to be found somewhere. That's so cool. Now it's your job to find it. This is your adventure now. I need a break. I don't have any gold. <laughs> Lisa head. does. Lisa, let's check and see if it detects your rod. And you're like, where's your rod? <laughs> there it is. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's beeping. It's all the right way here. You got some. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there it is. Found it. Definitely got it. Definitely got it. Look at that. Setting the LEDs off, man. Wow. That's funny. Of course, they're thinking, like you said, since they probably live maybe through depression, they're like, well, we gotta bury this because somebody will right. break in here and steal our money. And of course, they don't want to do the bank. But um, I would think it would be somewhere, like you said, they'd have like to a sentimental, of, like remember. Yeah. That's but what they don't want somebody else to find it. Like, it can't be that obvious. Right. All of our fans have all. They've, They've speculated. all speculated yeah. that that's the wow. case. Yeah, and it was Z Dog know. that found this one. So Where did he find that? House? This one was actually up in the attic oh, above attic. the canning jar room. Do, oh. you do you want to see the canning jar room? Yeah, let's check the canning jar room. Let's it check it out. Clue. We have to put all these clues in. <laughs> that's that's that is so cool. It's interesting that foreign money. I think it's off. interesting the chime is going off as we're talking about this. There's really no <laughs> lights in here. Wow. This is this is the jar or the canning room. And Z Dog actually oh. he went up into oh, here. Oh wow. 
and he had a flashlight and he found it up there in the insulation. But look at this, there's boxes of brand new jars. There's... That's awesome. This was her bedroom. Oh. This over here was her bedroom. So we tore every wall out mm -hmm. searching. And you can see where we tacked wires up here and we tacked wires up here. This was her bedroom. And so then we took all the wood that we tore out and we made shelves back here. We repurposed, so the, wood. We repurposed the wood for shelving, but we ch we gutted her bedroom. That's yeah. so this awesome. part this part of the ranch now is uh, the warehouse where we store inventory. Smart. And if you check our lives every Sunday, we auction off things uh, that we find in the storage unit. Guys, you've got to check out their channel. Be sure to go check out What The Hells if you have not seen their channel. They are so much fun and they have the coolest, they're the first ones I've we ever have, seen. We have some of the coolest stuff. Well, oh, they got the, look at the steins. I just saw those. I Lisa love loves them. Different sizes. The tops are pewters. Some of them play music. Just remember, size matters. <laughs> we literally gutted the bedroom looking. So the bedroom is not an option because we gutted it already and then we okay. replaced yeah. it. But we have not gutted the ceiling. We we did not rip this down, but we also we're also not real sure she would have ripped it down. Right. That's wow. where we're at on the search. So that's exciting. There's literally ninety six thousand dollars missing. The family has no idea where it's at. And we have found a jar of a foreign coin so far out of the ninety six thousand dollars. That's not a bad start. Not at all. No, you have to finish it. What do you think, Lise? You ready to get busy? I'm up for it. She put on her shades so she can go back out in the sunshine. That's serious business right there. She put her glasses on. Frisking it. Oh, it's on <laughs> She's ready to go. It's She's on. throwing down the walking stick. She's putting on the shades. I mean, it's... I should put it on. It's about to go down. I get a little <laughs> shovel in here or something. <laughs> that would be... Oh. That would be awesome. At night, though, these windows are open. I start hearing really weird noises beyond the pig pen. Sometimes I think it's a Bigfoot. It's usually me. I have gas. <laughs> I seriously think it's Bigfoot. There ever, are a lot of did you ever, amazing noises out there. Did you ever smell the, like Bigfoot? They said has like an odor. The skunk ape. What was it? Yeah, it's supposed like to smell like the nastiest, most disgusting thing you've ever smelled. So they say. Or also a clue. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like that. Like, like the animals, if the animals act up. They... Right. Do you ever beast, hear the beast will be screaming oh, in the yeah. middle of the night? Really? Beast, beast will scream at the top of his lungs mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. That's alarming. Okay, that's something. And so Jeremy will put his headlamp on and run out there to check, and then I... he hears something rattling in the woods. He just hears it taking off. I have a fourteen thousand lumen flashlight <laughs> that I, I'll take out there. It's like a ray of the sun, and I can't see anything. See you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Okay guys, it's been an amazing afternoon. Thank you so much to Jeremy and George. What the hells? Thanks guys. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, are we patty cake in here or what? I love how cute they are. They are. They are. Okay. Uh, the other word is awkward, <laughs> weird. <laughs> yep, of there we go. But there. a fun weird. I mean, we're weird too, so you're in good company. <laughs> I think that's why we get along so well. We definitely want you guys to come out again because... There's treasure to be found. There's more treasure to be found. And you guys know how Lisa always is talking about finding buried treasure. She's obsessed with pirates. Oh. Jeremy had an awesome idea, guys. So we have accessorized <laughs> Lisa's walking stick. It's now... Did the car just come on by itself? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Check it out, it actually works. It does work. It's a dual uh, we're purpose. Gonna, we're just gonna fill in that hole there. So we're coming back guys, we are coming back with Lisa's accessorized walking stick. All right. <laughs>